What's going on guys in the works media here and Modern Warfare 2 gives me a headache. <laughs> and this is actually a game that I pulled from the live stream last night. We d I did do a live stream. It was my first live stream on my on a new channel. I started a new live stream channel. I it's pretty good quality for what I have to work with, you know, only one upload. And I also have to do like a uh, different, you know, I have to jump to a lot of hoops to get the stream going. So uh, it was actually a pretty good turnout. We had a good time. We played some Modern Warfare 2, played some Black Ops. And uh, if you aren't following me already, already on Twitch TV, be sure to follow me. It makes it a lot easier to keep track of when I'm streaming because you'll get a handy dandy email as soon as I start streaming. And I'd really appreciate it if you go over there and follow me. It makes things much easier on my part. But we had a good time. And uh, we played played with some people from the stream. Um, I was actually considering doing some more Black Ops tonight or maybe some Dead Island because I know a lot of people wanted to play Black Ops. I was wanted to stream Dead Island. But anyways, that's not the point of today's commentary. Uh, today's commentary, we're going to talk about Modern Warfare 3 perks. We talked about sniping yesterday. And if you didn't see that video yesterday, be sure to check it out. But today we're going to talk about perks. And let's take a look at Tier 1 with this handy-dandy graphic and... Um, Tier 1 is, is an interesting tier. You've got two new perks in Recon and Blind Eye. Um, Blind Eye, you can see what it does on the screen. You might need to enlarge it to read it because it's going to be, you know, it's probably hard to read on a little bitty screen. So make it 720 and read it. Um, Blind Eye basically split up Ghost. It made you undetectable by, like, kill streaks, And at the same time, you get the lock on faster. And your bullets do more damage to, to uh, like, air support, which is cool. Like, vehicles. That'll, uh, that'll make it easier to shoot down UAVs if you're using Blind Eye. You can just use your LMG or whatever you use. So this is going to be an interesting tier. I, I'm curious to see what people use. I'm assuming a lot of people use Sleight of Hand. It seemed like in the Million Dollar Tournament, most people did rely on Sleight of Hand. I can assume that a lot of people will probably use Extreme Positioning Pro to get longer sprint, you know, climbing over obstacles faster and stuff like that. Um, Recon Pro, I'm not sure if people will use that, you know, cause that's, that's more of like the thing like they had in World at War. Uh, I'm not really sure how that'll work because it says that people show up on the radar with like explosives. I'm not sure how that'll work. Scavenger, scavenger will obviously be a pretty popular perk for any of the pub stompers because you know you got to keep those uh, those new bullets full because you got to keep uh, bullets to kill the noobs with. But the second tier is what I'm most excited about because it's always the heavy hitting tier. It's usually the tier that always contains the perks that you have to uh, like cold blooded or something like that. And now Blast Shield Pro combines flak jacket and tack mask and I mean that is freaking amazing because both those perks are probably my favorite perks in Call of Duty of all time I love um, flak jacket type perks and I love tack mask pro and that now that we get to have them together I am super excited um, I think that'll balance out quick draw you know having quick draw blast shields and assassin pro in the same tier will actually balance it out because Assassin is like the second half of Ghost after they split it up. It kind of protects you from UAVs, counter UAVs, EMPs. I mean, it does a lot. This is usually where COD games get in trouble. Um, it's where they've historically kept stopping power to kind of keep people from using Ghost without having to give up a big advantage. But I think by, um, by putting Blast Shield and Quick Draw in there, you actually do give up a substantial amount in order to use this perk, which I think will... Well, should help. Um, who knows? We'll see how it plays out when the game actually comes out. But I think Assassin Pro still does too much, but we'll see how it plays out. And then the third tier has historically been the weakest tier, in my opinion, because in uh, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops, you saw the perks that were usually... It was usually dominated by, like, Sit Rep or Ninja. I think COD 4 was definitely de dominated by Dead Silence. I think that maybe... Um, you know, I would like to say Modern Warfare 2 was either Sit Rep or Ninja, mostly Ninja. Some people did run Steady Aim, but it wasn't really... It, the sound was so good in this game that you really gave up a lot by not using Ninja. So, um, I personally felt like Ninja dominated this tier. There hasn't really been a whole lot of cool perks in this tier. But now you see the addition of Stalker Pro, which a lot of the people were using in the Million Dollar Tournament. You actually walk faster while aiming down sights, and um, I think that that's kind of a cool perk. I, Curious to see how that plays out. Then you got Steady Aim, Sit Rep. Um, you obviously have Dead Silence. It's not the same as Ninja anymore, but they've actually combined the Sit Rep Pro. Um, I think that that Dead Silence now you can hear enemies better. I, I don't get me wrong. Don't uh, quote me on that. I'm not really sure how that works out. But I think this is going to be the weakest tier. I think it's going to be dominated by uh, Dead Silence though. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really quick TDM and my thoughts on the perks. And uh, be sure to come over to the live stream, check it out in the description, follow it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you haven't checked me out on Twitter yet, be sure to go over there and check me out. It's where I announce live streams and pick people up in the subscriber sessions. It's probably the easiest place to get in contact with me.
Because I answer those more than uh, messages. <laughs>